America's 2021 top young scientist, Sarah Park. That 14-year-old girl from Jacksonville is this year's winner of Discovery Education's Young Scientist Challenge for her personalized music therapy treatment for mental health disorders. Sarah Park joins us now via Zoom. Good morning. Congratulations. Good morning. Thank you so much. I have to tell you, seeing your reaction and your and I'm presumably your folks as well, it just puts a big smile on my face. I just can't. I'm just very happy for you and your family. Can you can you explain? So your the name of your project is is, is Spark Care Plus. How does it work? So yes, we were very thrilled and excited and honored to for me to receive this award this year. So I created Spark Care Plus which is a personalized music therapy device that utilizes an artificial intelligence model that I created and also the sensors of galvanic skin response and both the plasmography to track the emotional changes of the participant as they're listening to the music. And Spark Care Plus aims to help with mental health disorders and also um, emotional well-being. So, so is it a device then and you're using then an instrument to play into it? Yes, it is a device that plays the music for you. Um, yes, and I created the prototype over the summer for this. So you were inspired by your grandmother. Tell us about her. So my grandmother suffered from some mental health disorders like depression. And, but when I played the violin for her, she would really open up her positive emotions. And I think mental health is something that can affect a lot of us, especially during the pandemic period. Um, and some period of our lifetime, whether it be some kind of degree. So I decided to use Spark Care Plus to make it accessible music therapy for it because I intuitively found the healing power of music and music can actually release the hormones of dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine that common medications also release without any side effects. So does this device help with that, you know, to, to make people, you know, feel better or is this something then that helps you do research so that you know more about how to help them improve their conditions? That's a great question. So over the summer, I was able to test this device on 10 participants. And for that, I used it as testing purposes for the sensors. However, this device will be connected to the application so that it will be helped be used for many other people as well. So have you, are, are, are you musically inclined? Have you been playing, you know, certain instruments? Is that what kind of uh, put you down this road other than obviously your grandmother's condition? Yes, I play the violin. I've played it for a very long time and I love music so much. And I really intuitively found that the healing power of music actually really um, helps and can affect our brain. So that inspired me to create Spark Care Plus. So we have some video of, of you presenting as well as all of the other students that you competed against as well that will show our viewers. I mean, it is intense. Were you nervous during the presentation? Oh, it was a very intense um, challenges and then also the presentation, but I really enjoyed the challenges, the problem solving, the creativity that was needed for these really difficult challenges. And the final presentation was really exciting for me to see the judges questions and then also just explain my project to them. And, and I can only imagine that it, it, it's not quite as easy to do that virtually via Zoom, which it looks like was, was happening there. So, so Sarah, congratulations to you. What's next for you? Are you going to continue this project? Thank you. Yes, I'm not going to stop here. I really hope to continue to develop Spark Care Plus um, to make it really accessible and be used around the world. And I also hope to partner with music databases to make all of the music selections from Spark Care Plus multicultural and very personal to each participant. Well, good luck to you. You have a very bright future, I can already tell. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.